We use in cases of a tet gingiva and enough bone quantity, we use the soft tissue punch. We remove the soft tissue on the top of the implant insertion site. We measure the thickness of the soft tissue. We have three millimeters soft tissue thickness. Now we use the GPI sleeve, 1.5 millimeter diameter and with a 1.5 millimeter drill, we go to the final length and axis for the planned implant. After creating the 1.5 cavity, the next step will be using the 2.0 pilot drill of the BHI system. And we go to the final length and final depth for the 10 millimeter implant. The second step will be a telescopic drill which will create a cavity for a 3.7 millimeter implant. So this is just to show you how easy it is to use the telescopic drill. But for the 4.2 millimeter implant we need to use the 3.2 and the 3.65 millimeter drills in order to create the final cavity for the 4.2 millimeter implant. Now we finalize the cavity, we insert the implant and we screw it to the final position which will be at the bone level. As you see here we have the 35 newton centimeter insertion torque and after inserting the implant to the final position at the bone level we use we use now the cover screw as you can see here we use the cover screw and we insert it in the cover screw is screwed with finger pressure and I will show you in a second and now I show you the perfect implant position with a cover screw. This is a implant in the first molar region. Well, this is the next surgery. We did in this special case more than 20 years ago a subperiostal implant, which is still in function. And this time the surgery will be a sinus elevation on the right side with implant insertion in the first premolar area, second premolar area, and first molar. We will extract these two teeth and fill this whole area with augmentation material and uh, covering with a membrane. This is the beginning of the surgery. We clean the area. <clears throat> we measure the width of the bone. We know exactly where the implants are planned. Extraction of the first, uh, of the first molar and second premolar. Incision lie goes to the palate and two release incisions, one mesially and a small one distally. Now we made a release incision distally from the canine. We elevate with a small elevator, we elevate the flap. Then we use the second elevator 
to elevate the buccal area of the flap and to create a good view for the surgical procedure. As you can see here, the destroyed first molar and the mobile second premolar. As a first step, after opening the flap, we collect blood to activate the beta TCP we are going to use. So now, opening the flap, extraction of the second premolar. As you see, it was a very long titanium shaft without any reason and the fibrous tissue which has to be removed of course and as you can see very nicely the sinus is open already from the rich side so we will do actually a filling of the sinus from the ridge area and from the lateral wall area so it will be a combined combined augmentation and of course cleaning the fibrous tissue. We use a three millimeter red grid diamond burr to open the lateral window. After creating enough space for the lateral window, as we can see here, we have a rupture of the Schneiderian membrane due to previous surgeries and to the infection. Now we introduce a collagen membrane, the smooth surface to the top, rough surface to the bottom, in order to repair the rupture of the Schneiderian membrane. Creating the new space, the new cavity, the next step will be filling this huge sinus with two grams of augmentation material. The first drill will be five millimeter from the distal part of the canine. And then the next one will be eight millimeters to the distal. We use the first drill, then we use the pilot drill, two millimeters diameter. Next one is again two millimeter diameter and the third one two millimeters pilot drilling. Because the bone density is D3, we are using the screen osteotomes with a convex tip. It goes into the bone, condenses the bone laterally, and give us an excellent primer stability for the six implants from BHI we are going to insert. So you screw the osteotome slowly, and the next step will be the 4.2 millimeter six implant for BHI. As you can see here, this implant has a 35% bigger uh, bone implant contact surface and an excellent initial stability due to the six lead threads. And we are using the handle to introduce the implant with the possibility of correcting the axis of the implant and getting the best initial stability. As you can see, the surface is hydro, hydrophile and the blood goes into the rough titanium surface. Then we are going to remove the instrument after using the ratchet because as you see here we have to check a 35 newton centimeter initial stability in order to load this implant immediately this implant will get a peak abutment and will support the future temporary denture in non occlusion as you can see here we exceed 35 newton centimeters insertion torque which is the minimum 
stability for immediate loaded implant. This is a peak abutment, a pre-prepared peak abutment. You screw the peak abutment generally with 20 Newton centimeters maximum insertion torque. I prefer to use 50 Newton centimeters. This is the next sixth implant with a transfer into the final position and the snap on transfer is removed and with a hex tool the implant will be seated in the final death and getting a cover screw. Now we will do the same for the distal implant in the first molar area. We are inserting the implant in the first molar area with finger pressure which is about 15 to 20 Newton centimeters and we use the cover screw. So the bone density in this area is about D4 so we will have to wait six months actually to load this implant. The next step will be covering the augmentation with the membrane which has a perforation done in advance so we use this membrane as a coverage for the buccal and the palatal area it is a collagen resorbable membrane give us an excellent coverage for the augmented area. We start from the mesial area the suture a continuous mattress suture and after closing the flap we prep with a rough diamond the peak abutment in order to have actually the parallelism between the implant and the natural tooth to put a temporary bridge on it. We inserted as planned the three implants, sixth implant from BHI one in the premolar, first premolar area, second premolar area, first molar area, and the big augmentation uh, with sinus elevation procedure. And we wait about five months to restore it. As you can see here, we did immediate uh, restoration on this uh, first premolar implant because we had 45 Newton centimeter insertion torque.